Welcome to Minute Genetics. In this episode, we will clear up a common genetic misconception in today's society. What does it really mean when we say a child has one in four chances of contracting a disease? To understand this, let's take a look at Mendelian genetics, which was discovered in the 1800s by Gregor Mendel. Mendelian inheritance is a process by which traits are passed down from generation to generation. The genotype is the allelic makeup of an individual's genetic material, where some traits could be potentially dominant to other recessive ones, but the two copies have an equal chance of being passed on, 50%. What does this mean? You have two copies of every gene, one from your mom and one from your dad. Specifically, these copies or alleles define the genotype. Let's take for example eye color. Let's say your mother has blue eyes and your father has brown eyes. When an individual has two of the same alleles, they are known as homozygous, otherwise they are heterozygous. If your father passed on his brown allele, even though your mother can only pass on the allele for the blue, it will never be expressed. Why? Because the brown eye color is dominant to the blue eye color. When would it be expressed? The only situation in which you will have blue eyes is if both your parents passed on the blue allele. In this case, the chances for that are 50%. The method shown to display these patterns of inheritance is called a Punnett square. Now, let's take what we learn and apply it in the context of sickle cell anemia. It is a homozygous recessive disorder. And let's say for example that both parents are heterozygous. Once again, that is, both parents carry the diseased allele in the genotype, but don't express it in the phenotype. They are both carriers. The Punnett square will look something like this. Any genotype with normal dominant allele, big S, will present a normal phenotype, even if it is a carrier of the mutant allele. Remember, sickle cell anemia is an autosomal recessive disorder. Therefore, affected offspring are those who inherit the two mutant alleles, little s and little s. As a result, this couple, heterozygous for the disease trait, have a 1 in 4 risk of having a child that is sickle cell anemic. Now to clear the misconception, Contrary to the popular belief, this does not mean that one out of every four children will exhibit the disease. The statistic is a probability and is independent for every event. What do we mean by probability? Really, there is a one in four chance or 25% chance that any one of the children will express the disease. That means, if one child expresses the symptoms of the disease, the next child still has a one in four or 25% chance of expressing the disease. Every child has an individual independent probability of expressing the disease. In other words, the probability of the disease is the same for all children this couple has because each parent has a 50% chance of passing on the affected allele. If the couple were to have four children, it's possible that none of them will be affected. Yet, it is also possible that all four of the children will be affected. If the couple theoretically have hundreds of children, we would notice that 25% of them are affected. Of course, this could never happen because human couples just aren't capable of conceiving hundreds of children. But we'll save that discussion for another day. Thanks for watching, lads!